Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Christina Applegate disclosed on her messy podcast that she had the opportunity to join the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills around a decade ago, but declined the offer. Sharing the revelation with co-host Jamie Lynn Sigler, Applegate revealed that despite being approached, she ultimately opted out. Reflecting on the situation, Applegate humorously recounted a conversation with the show's executive producer, who happened to become a friend through their children attending the same school. She recalled asking him, Chris, now that you know me, do you think I would have been a fun housewife? To which he candidly responded, No, it would have been the most boring thing I've ever seen in my life. Applegate concurred with the assessment, acknowledging her own antisocial tendencies and agreeing that she likely wouldn't have brought the drama and entertainment value typically associated with the show. I wouldn't have shown up to any dinners. The Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead star shared. I would have been in my sweatpants, and I'd be lying in bed. What fun is that? No, none of that. Although she did not join the beloved reality show, which includes cast members Kyle Richards and Erica Jane, Applegate has remained an avid fan of the franchise, especially the Real Housewives of New York City. During her preparation for the 2024 Emmys, Christina Applegate, known for her role in The Sweetest Thing, found solace in watching R. A. Jean Y alongside her hairstylist, Adder Abergel. This comforting ritual helped ease her nerves ahead of what she described as an overwhelming appearance at the event. Despite the challenges she faced, she received a standing ovation upon taking the stage, supported by her FUMS cane. Applegate first disclosed her diagnosis of multiple sclerosis in August 2021, a condition affecting the central nervous system. In solidarity with her, Jamie Lynn Sigler, known for her role in The Sopranos, co-launched a podcast with Applegate in early March. Through their platform, they openly discussed their individual battles with the disease. Sickler herself received her diagnosis at the age of 20, but chose to keep it private until 2016. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel to get update news.